how does energy medicine yoga differ from all other yoga practices? Talk to us about that. Okay. So that's a great question because we have in our mind what yoga is. And we've seen in the last, you know, 10, 20, 30 years, this massive explosion of yoga throughout the world. And quite a lot of that yoga is very physically based. And so we've seen, and, you know, if you just scroll through any of your social media feeds, you will see yogis doing incredibly acrobatic poses and wearing incredibly very skimpy clothing while they're doing that. And so that's kind of been a model of what yoga has been um, for the last, you know, a uh, uh, bunch of years, becoming this very physicalized practice. Yoga traditionally has been an energetic practice, but some of that has been lost in this push to have the body be the primary um, uh, desire and functionality of our lives. And so energy medicine yoga really leans into first the energetics. So what is going on energetically in the body? The energy precedes the physical body. And there are nine energy systems in the body that all work together. And so in energy medicine yoga, the body is incredibly important and the body holds our emotions. It holds our traumas. It holds our stresses. It also holds our joys and our love. And so we want to have access to the physical body and we do that through the energetic body. So some of the practices will look very similar to what you would see in any yoga class. You might have some downward dogs and some upward dogs. Um, this morning we did cat cow, which is a, uh, an asana that is used in many, many yoga classes. So you'll see a lot of poses that look very similar. But what you won't see unless you're in an energy medicine yoga class is accessing these energetic flows through the body concurrently with the physical asana so that you're working energetically and physically at the same time. The goal being to organize and harmonize all of these nine energy systems in the body because it's those systems that give rise to the physical form. And so if you are in harmony energetically, the physical body must then be in harmony as well. And so it's a very healing practice because we're bringing into coherence parts of our energy systems that may not be in coherence right now that then give rise to disruptions in the physical body. So it will look somewhat similar with a little bit of differences thrown in and the feeling sense and the intentionality behind it are quite different and quite focused.